Drinking Heart and welcome to the Drink Less, Live Better podcast. This is the podcast that helps you to see that drinking less doesn't need to be stressful, lonely or boring. I'm your host, Sarah Williamson, and I decided to have a year alcohol-free as a little life experiment and haven't looked back. With my experience and training, I now help other people with their alcohol-free or drink less adventures. You can find out more and sign up to my five-day Drink Less Challenge at drinklesslivebetter.com. I'm here to tell you that you can relax, connect and have fun without alcohol in your life. Join me here each week to find out how. You cannot stress yourself to peace. I know this to be true. I love a peaceful life, drama-free Who doesn't? Well, actually, me also, but an older version of me. I used to thrive in a zone of slight chaos and overwhelm. Part of my identity was busy and also being anxious about being busy. Not anymore, friend, not anymore. I love peace. I love calm. And as you may know, if you've been in my world a while, I love contentment. It's so satisfying. My mind feels steady. My body can find stillness and my soul shines a bit brighter. How do we move from chaos and overwhelm to a more tranquil way of being? I am afraid we cannot stress, strive, work hard, study deeply, or walk over hot coals to get to it. No, it's another way. For me, it began in about 2018, identifying someone ahead of me on the journey towards less overwhelm and following closely behind them. I recommend you follow Kelly Project Me on Insta for inspiration or find someone being who you want to be and ask them how they do what they do. I questioned what was making me feel less than fabulous and some of the answers were feeling tired, feeling like I didn't exercise or eat well enough, not having a passion to pursue, not learning new skills, too much of the colour grey, watching or listening to the news, doom scrolling social media, oh and alcohol as well, to name just a few. If there is a list of less than fabulous pointers, there must surely be an opposite. Yes, things that bring me contentment and satisfaction. And those are some silence and stillness in my day, reading a fiction book always on the go and something to learn from, a bunch of cheery daffodils, a blanket and a hot water bottle in winter and a cool breeze on a warm day, a lovely scented candle, at least eight hours of sleep, a long, long walk, preferably around 20 kilometres with a lovely tea and cake shop about 15 kilometres in. Oh yes, tea and cake. Writing in my notebook, making a rough plan for the day. Coming to a place of acceptance that things don't always feel comfortable. There's illness, there's surgery, there's relationships ending. And some things are deeply and horribly uncomfortable. But I found a level of peace in knowing what I can control or influence and what I can't. Finding peace. It's crept up on me gently. I used to chase it hard and be left feeling a bit hollow. But over the last few years, I let go of my desperate need for peace. And you know what? One day... I looked back and I had it. Check out the show notes on this podcast or any other episode. You'll see the link to a hidden podcast episode 
to help you with your 5pm cravings and you'll be able to read about my one-to-one coaching program. Thank you for listening in today. Come back again next week. And P.S. I believe in you. Mm-hmm.